Welcome to the Wednesday warm up. I'm going to do some drawing exercises here tonight. Uh, we're going to do a scribble challenge and we're also going to do uh, some likeness practicing. So one of the best things you can do as an artist is learn to draw likenesses. So that's caricatures or things from movies. And tonight we're going to have a Die Hard edition. So I'm going to take some uh, quick reference from the Die Hard cast and we're going to answer the question, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? We're going to definitively answer that question tonight uh, in this episode. So as I like to start out every every uh, uh, warm up here, the classic scribble challenge. And I've uh, started to take some scribbles from the audience. So if you send them to me, I may draw your uh, scribble out um, live here. You can also send your scribbles in the mail to this PO box. Uh, we can confuse the uh, local mail ladies and um, I'll draw on it and send it back to you perhaps. So I'll be checking that uh, box uh, weekly. So this one came in from uh, Maddie over on Instagram. So we can take a look at that and just a recap of how Scribble Challenge works. You can do your own scribble or have someone do it for you. What you wanna do here is just kind of look at this. You can turn it a little bit if you want. There are no real rules. There are no real rules here. Um, and the first thing that you see, you should draw it out. Um, that's kind of the, uh, the idea here. It's just to kind of loosen you up. And that's what this is, is you just warm up exercises. So I'm gonna go ahead and fade her. Thanks, Maddie, for sending that in. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're gonna take a look at that together. Uh, let me see here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and change my view. Uh, yeah, so what do you see here? All right, and that that's the real trick. You wanna draw out the first thing you see, even if it's um, uh, silly, yeah, you can make it work. Um, it's about getting loosened up here. So let me take a look here. Let me see what I see. Okay, um, I think I see what I'm gonna draw. Hmm, this one's tricky. Well, I actually know what I see right now. <laughs> and this one was, was tricky at first, but now I see kind of a little uh, snail head. And this is his shell, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and loop that around and then we'll make it cute. So those are just the shapes that I'm seeing there. We'll make them, we'll make them kind of a cute little uh, snail. Right, let's put some little eyes on there. And again, this is about, um, you know, a snail or slug. This is just about getting the, uh, getting the pencil moving after, you know, maybe you've had a day at your day job or, you know, you're, you're uh, just getting a couple hours or maybe only a few minutes to draw. This is a really good exercise to do. Uh, I do it every day. <laughs> so, uh, Try it out, put a little drop shadow on there. This is all just about getting the pencil moving and being real quick. So there's your little snail. I guess maybe they got, I don't know if they got, I don't know, you know, do they have antenna? It doesn't matter. I always like to do a quick one myself too, just to kind of show you, turn off here. Thanks again, Maddie, for sending that. It's not the best drawing, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's not the best drawing. You just gotta, get what's there and start uh, training your brain to start to see and just loosen up because we're about to draw some uh, uh, likenesses from the Die Hard movie and that's gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna take up most of the, the show doing that. So here's my real quick scribble. Let's do that, right? Okay. Sometimes I even just look away, you know, when I'm doing this. Um, there we go got here all right again I just draw the first thing that I see even if it's not the greatest thing and in this case I see kind of like a nose there a mouth right you see what I'm saying all right and like a hat in front of the Maybe like a cab driver or something like that. I see a lot of like, see a lot of faces like this and scribbles and shapes. 
an old taxi cab driver or something. You, know, you can add to it if you want, once you see it, once you start to kind of fill the shape in with what you see. And feel free to, you know, screenshot these and try them out yourself. You know, put some hair there. All right. Yeah, so this is a scribble challenge, and that's just a way to get your brain kind of moving again uh, after, you know, your pencil hasn't been moving. This is just a great little exercise to do. I'd love to do that. You can uh, send your scribbles to that P.O. box and uh, looking forward to kind of drawing some uh, from actual people and sending you some fun stuff back. We've got some cool stickers and uh, merch from uh, the draw or die dot co that you can check out. Uh, just fun stuff to, to help keep you uh, drawing and motivated. That's what the uh, draw or die club is all about. Okay, so die hard edition. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my reference board. I'm just kind of open this up side by side. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to gather some quick reference. I just wanted to uh, not only the you know main character at Die Hard, but uh, some of the um, actors. So I'm just going to grab them from this Google image. Kind of just pull some in here. Some of the actors that I actors are interesting faces. Um, let's see. We got a bald. We got a bald Bruce Willis there. We got. Oh, there's one guy. Oh, we got to do the classic uh, Hans Gruber face, right? That's a good face. I don't want to spend too much time there. We'll get the uh, cop from outside. It's helping him out. This guy, which if I click him, oh yeah. We're gonna, that's a nice smile that he's got there, right? So we're gonna try and capture that likeness. Um, let's go back to the blonde, uh, the blonde German uh, terrorist guy. This dude right here. I wonder if there's any other, fun. oh yeah, right there. That's a good one. All right, let's get his wife. Just enough to capture the likeness, right? Okay, what do I got? I don't got much, uh, I actually don't have much Bruce Willis on here. So I got the, I got the one where he's bald. If I'm gonna grab this one, just for, for good measure, right? Okay, wait, you know what I want? We need Argyle, you know, the uh, the driver from outside. So let's do that. Argyle. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, why not? We got some Hans Gruber. We got some other guys in there. I don't know all their names. It doesn't really matter. Now, you know, the challenge here is to just kind of capture a likeness. I'm not trying to do a full uh, image here. I'm just kind of trying to sketch out the likeness a little bit. This would be for like a warm up. We'll stick with, uh, let's stick with the classic Bruce Willis face there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of, you know, get the basic shape, kind of go fast. It can be cartoony, right? You're just trying to capture the shape and the likeness. And again, this is something that, you know, I feel like the better you, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So I just like to do some quick measurements of the mouth and the nose. And, you know, if you go into caricature land, you can kind of start to really exaggerate um, pieces of the face, the hairline, this is probably the biggest thing, right? Like I see the hairline there, I'm gonna get this. Doesn't look like anything right now. And that's what probably people quit when you first don't see it coming through, but you gotta kind of work it and just kind of look um, at what you're seeing, right? So see the ear popping off, we'll get to those eyes. He's got like a little weird thing there, kind of those those mouth lines there are kind of really sticking out to me. And then at some point I'll just kind of go for it and start fleshing this out. I'll change my, I'll use this in red for right now, but I would change it to a different, um, a different uh, color lead. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of start going for the eyes there.
the way that his nose swoops down in. He's kind of got a weird dent in his nose right there. So just a little highlight there. Kind of get that. And again, I'm just trying to capture the likeness of this character. So I might fail. That's okay. <laughs> you just want to keep drawing. We're going to draw this face out first. Then I'm just going to skip to the next faces. But this is the first um, attempt here. Right. And still to me, in my own mind right now, I'm like, this does not look like Bruce Willis or this character yet. And you got to kind of keep just molding it kind of like clay a little bit. So now we're just gonna put those very arch shapes. He has more of a pointy chiseled kind of chin there. All right. Maybe a little rounder. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're getting there. All right. He's got some weird, and I mean, one of the things you can see here as a, the the a lot of wrinkles in his um a lot of wrinkles in that forehead so that's going to really make this um start popping off and looking like him before we get to those wrinkles i'm just going to draw the you know the hair out a little bit he definitely has like a like that wedge shape there coming up in his messy hair right because he's been like in elevator shafts and hiding from these German uh, terrorists <laughs> in the movie, hiding from Hans Gruber. Oh, uh, you know, this isn't perfect, but you can start to see kind of how that I can't see the rest of his head in this in this uh, thing this uh, reference, but I'm not trying to keep it exact. He definitely has a receding hairline. So we're going to accentuate that. Right. And he's got some scuff on his face and some blood. Do that. Shoulders coming off that head there. Got that going. Right. Right. So that's probably, I mean, that's not looking too much like we could do better than this, but that's okay. Cause you just got to keep, keep working it. <laughs> that's a pretty bad looking, uh, <laughs> Bruce Willis actually, um, you know, no warm up here. Let's try to do the other faces. So maybe we'll get better as we go. Maybe we'll even kind of come back and try that one again, but at some point you got to kind of move on. So, who's next? All right, let's do uh, his buddy cop outside. Do that. I forget the names, guys. I'm not great at that. Just the dad from Family Matters. If you're so again, like, I'm not gonna do the. I'm I'm kind of in a comic book style mood right now. Maybe I need to get more uh, cartoony. So I'm just gonna take that last face off that. And I'm just going to look at the overall shape of his head and I'm going to draw it real small because to me, it's going to kind of just you know, where the eye line is. Right. Mouth line. Nose, eyes, kind of just like learn to shape that out a little bit. All right. So, so I've got that real small. I'm just gonna blow that up a little bit, and fade that out. Put another layer on top of that. I'm gonna change my pencil to pencil lead color. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Same 
thing. So, you know, the classic, uh, the classic debate online is, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? And, you know, it comes because, you know, the story is taking place in Christmas, uh, at Christmas time at a Christmas party at the Nakatoma, Nakatomi Plaza. Um, if you don't know the plot, I won't spoil it, but everybody should know, uh, know this film by now, I think, <laughs> or not. Maybe you avoid it. <laughs> Maybe you're one of the people that's like, no, absolutely not. You know, this is not um, a Christmas movie. So for a while, we used to say it's not Christmas until you see uh, Hans Gruber falling off the top of the Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> All right, so... I can't remember his name in the movie. It's just off the top of my head. Wilson or something like that, or... It's the cop that's, that knows that there's a cop inside. Right, it's like a beat cop. They tried to do some like backstory where, you know, he got on a really bad patrol because he wants you know, someone he shot a kid or something accidentally or something like that. And so he regretted it after that. And like cops, no cops, all that stuff. You know, they kind of really try to pack it in there in the um, <laughs> 80s movie. We're not trying to draw a full body here, just kind of a likeness. And you've got the ears kind of on the side of his head there. And he's a bald guy, pretty much. Not much hair going on there. Maybe just a little bit coming in. Right. I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible, just to kind of you know, I've, I'm out of I'm out of practice with likenesses, so you can kind of get out of practice out of practice with it. But it's, like I said in one of the other videos on the channel here, um, it's actually one of the fastest ways uh, um, a uh, artist can make money with their um, skills within just a couple couple minutes or hours. You could draw profile pictures. You could do you know, port like caricature portraits fast. Um, if you're really good at it, you know, you can do more portraits, um, like paintings and things. But um, a lot of people like that. This is not not too bad. Not too bad. There. Right. Right. Maybe I'm getting the eyes a little bit big. It doesn't matter. It's all about just trying to capture that likeness, right? And now this is actually starting to look a little bit more like Bruce Willis to me the, now that I look at it. <laughs> like, you know, maybe it's like a cosplay uh, Bruce Willis or something. All right. I think that's good for him. Let's go to, um, let's switch to uh, the, the German uh, terrorist guy. Let's do that. I hate to say German terrorist guy, but I mean, that's what that's what they are in the movie. They're kind like of terrorists. So, all right. This one should be a little fun, too. We're just going to really go with angles here. I'm just going to draw some sharp, some very, we're going to just be more caricaturized, more cartoony. Because I see kind of like, I see kind of like this shape going on with this dude, like almost like a boom, 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 boom. I see kind of like a crazy shape like that going on, but we're not going to do that. It's kind of what I'm seeing, though. More like a, you know? So eyes right in there. So I do like the eye line real quick, like a light line, kind of a nose marker, and then mouth marker, mouth spacing. Of 
course he's got that kind of scowl right mm -hmm. I don't really I I'm decent at likenesses and when I really get into it I can be pretty good but it's nothing that I'd want to do full time um but it's definitely if you're good at it there's a lot of stuff to be to be done with that so um so how's that hanging off of this it doesn't really flow like Fabio's hair it's more like a tuft get there <laughs> see I'm way more caricaturized on this <laughs> on this guy then we can get in and do the shape and maybe like some more of the, the details here well that looks like he's smiling nope he's definitely not smiling he's like very mad very grumpy. Grumpy man. Sometimes just one or two lines can kind of make the shape come out. I don't know, you know. It's, you kind of just have to go with like what you see. Just like that scribble challenge is like the first thing that I see. There's not a whole lot going on. There's a cheekbone right there, so I might just put a little line there. To, to kind of denote where the cheekbone is or where these like shapes are or maybe you know where that's going that's looking you know it's a likeness we're just capturing the likeness of this guy and you know you've probably seen some caricature artists where they're like you know you look at it and you're like when you see it you're like that doesn't look like that person but the person themselves, they can really see what you've accentuated about them. And I think that's the magic of caricature art in general. But yeah, I say that's a good, that's a pretty good practice likeness. Another thing you might do is um, if you have uh, uh, a TV on or something, you could just pause the TV and draw really boring faces like from the news or something like that doesn't always have to be um you know an actor or an actress or anything like that um let's try to draw the wife mclean <laughs> so get her in here let's put her right next to this guy right um yeah you know so she's got the Classic kind of softer female face here. Jawline. But then she does have that crazy, you know, 80s perm coming up in there. There's a lot of shadow on this, so I'm not, might be a little off, but again, I'm gonna just kind of mark where I see the nose, the lips, maybe the mouth. Gently kind of put in the eyes. And then we'll just kind of start going for it here in a minute. And sometimes you just got to kind of, you know, you might throw a sketch away when it looks like that, but you just got to kind of go, okay, why doesn't that look like her yet? You know, is it the eyelid? Is it that eye, eye, eyebrow? Or is it these like little lines here in her, in her eye line, eyebrow, or eye, <laughs> eyebrow area, <laughs> right? Is it the little shine in the pupil? You can definitely just see a subtle, subtle eyelid there. We got a lot of, a lot of shadow on this one, so. You know, we could decide if we were going to do life drawing or something like that and get a little too 
little too, uh, I don't want to get too fancy. This is a warm up sketch, but you know, if we want to look at where the, we can use it to practice where the, the shadow's coming in at, then we could just black that in if we wanted to. It's kind of you know, not cheating, but when there is a lot of shadow, you can, you can figure out uh, a lot more of the face and kind of really brings out the form. I guess. And so it's just an excuse to kind of play with um, the fundamentals of drawing, I guess, the shapes and forms and things like that. This nose looks a little crazy right now because <laughs> don't worry about that. Let's, let's stop looking at that. Okay. And then I'm going to redo this mouth. You can even fold the, you know, I can, you can kind of redo the, the jawline. Sometimes I do that where it's like a little too angular or a little too big, kind of bring it back in a little bit, just a little bit. She kind of has like a Sigourney Weaver look to her from the eighties. It's almost like, you know, the type cast of the eighties movies where these ladies with the big hair right of course she was separated from uh, John McClane in the movies because you know he's a cop and he's always working on the beat that kind of <laughs> very cliche uh, 80s plot but it still works I mean you know it's probably true too. It's probably not easy to be married to a guy like John McClane, right? Not, not, not digging this one, but that's okay. Again, <laughs> it's all right to not have a, a great drawing. You just got to keep the pencil moving. And we know that this is, you know, I'm not getting into a portrait painting here. This is just a likeness. And uh, she has a really long neck, it looks like. Really bad. You know. A little bit more permish permish stuff going on here, but I can just shade it in with this. She had a lot of black going on there. Right. Could really just kinda make her all in shadow. We can just black her completely out. How about that? <laughs> No, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a likeness. So that's the idea here. Just capture those likenesses. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, are we ready for Hans yet? This crazy picture of Hans, or do we want to do... Let's do both. Let's just do this this version of Hans. Gruber. I believe one of the uh, Draw or Die club members just drew this. I don't know if it was New Waver. This is a pretty classic... Uh, classic shape of Hans Gruber's head from the side. Mm -hmm. You might know him as the um, Snape. Is that what it is? From... <laughs> is that right? I don't know. Second here, go into this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. Okay. Open the wrong thing. All right. Lost my window there for a minute. Da, 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 da. Might be a little too close to the. Of 
course, Hans Gruber, played by the wonderful Alan Rickman. Um, so many great roles. This is probably one of his most, <laughs> you know, legendary roles besides the, the uh, being in Harry Potter and uh, Metatron in Dogma. <laughs> We, we were both in the same movie together, me and this guy. How about that? I was in Dogma. <laughs> As an extra at the Pittsburgh airport once. Long story, but maybe for another time. All right, so then he's got like this weird, right? like the fan, kind of like fan hair there. This perfect combed, quaffed hair. Again, it's about the likeness. So, you know, it's kind of getting there. Getting a little bit Hans Gruber ish. Kind of feel like that line there kind of really um, sells that. Maybe a little more squinty eyes, just a little bit. Right? Oh yeah, that's a that's kind of an Alan Rickman eye there. And we got the scowl lines right it's kind of a beefy muscular looking Hans Gruber but <laughs> never mind that the likeness is there so now we've got you know we're capturing likenesses that's for sure like if I saw this now and I knew and I knew Die Hard I would know that's the buddy cop from outside that's the German terrorist guy that's his his wife and she's a little you know blown out there Hans Gruber yeah for sure yeah and you know the more I look at this the more it's looking like a derpy Bruce Willis <laughs> right all right cool there's Hans let's just do the classic uh face of like let's just work on that face that likeness <laughs> all right yeah okay let's see Just get, gonna get the, the head shape, get the eyes real big, They're kind of far apart a little bit. That's kind of what I'm seeing. We get a really like really exaggerated eyebrows, and his pupils are really big. Like, oh my, right. Want to make him look like he's smiling? All right. No. 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 And again, these are just supposed to be warm-up drawings. To I'm warming up tonight with likenesses, so I'm just trying to capture practice drawing what it is about a face that we might see. He's got kind of like an elongated nose, right? And then his mouth is kind of like, oh no. Just want to capture the expression as best as I can. I could do better. Just got to do some practice, you know, 
I haven't done these in a while. I haven't done likenesses in a while. Uh, so, but that's, this is part of it. Just kind of getting in here, practicing, um, you know, that his ear is back here somewhere. Right. And then we got the, now his hair is very messed up. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Looks more like a homeless guy or something. Alright, All right, we'll get this. If that were his his gun. Right there. His hand over here, right? It's just like Bruce Willis's head and his forehead on the, the lines on the forehead. We got the, the beard kind of coming in. Kind of cap, you know, it doesn't look exactly like Hans Gruber, but again, if this were anything else, but this is just about capturing the likeness, it's not a big deal. But you know, we're getting there. Let's just say that's the shoulder, just the action, like this is sloping down. Right. You can see that. If it's just a warm up sketch, you're practicing, you know, his eyes might be a little bit big compared to the, the sketch, but for the uh, photo, but I don't know. Let's start, you know, the more you flesh it out, the more it'll start to look like um, the character or the likeness. So, okay, so we got that, we got that. All right, who else do we have on this sheet? Oh, Argyle. All right, let's do Argyle down here. He's got more of like a, like a round shape head. Definitely, right? And this, We'll just do more cartoony here, just kind of go fast, because sometimes you just want to capture the likeness real quick. And you got these big old aviator glasses. <laughs> All right. So in the movie, he's the 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 driver that was waiting in the car with a giant teddy bear for Bruce Willis and he ends up being like you know his man on the ground helping him I got little tiny ears look at that All right. it's also you see it's nice to have a um, style change you know you, if you're like oh this character has a different shape to his head and everything. Interesting. Like, it's a little bit of hair there. 80s haircut. Argyle, the limo driver. I don't know why he was one of my favorite characters in the movie, just. And he's just because he's like sitting in the parking garage as the uh, <laughs> the terrorists are attacking, and I don't think he knew what was going on for like the longest time or something. So I remember it. All right, cool. Yeah, definitely captured that little likeness of Argyle. 
There's the Hans Gruber is my favorite, I think, so far. Um, this is, you know, and here, here we're back to, to Bruce Willis. It's kind of looking like, um, looking like Bruce Willis now, which is weird. You know? It might've just been the red pencil kind of throwing me off or something. If you go look at one of the great uh, old Mad Magazine cartoons, Jack Davis and a lot of different cartoonists, they're such masters at this, um, you know, caricature art and drawing famous people. So, you know, when you're drawing someone that everybody knows, it's kind of a lot more pressure to make them look like the thing. But once you can start to learn to capture a likeness, you could draw strangers and things like that. So it's just a really nice, it's just a really fun thing to do too. If you, you know, aren't under pressure to, to make a, um, you know, giant portrait work or something like that. So. So what do you think is um is die hard a christmas movie or not post your uh, comment <laughs> we'll go with a live uh, vote whatever the comments say that's what it's gonna be die hard's a christmas movie or die hard's not a christmas movie my vote is that uh it's just a christmas movie to me right 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 okay so those are looking pretty good if you want to do more drawing prompts you just keep drawing along with me uh we have the playlist here for the warm-ups <laughs> we also have daily drawing prompts at draw or die co draw or die co and uh, we have the weekly newsletter we have other content here on youtube uh, so please stick around and keep drawing with me here i think i'm going to flesh this out a little bit more uh, before i end my night and uh just kind of have some more fun here with the uh, the different Bruce Willis's. Please keep drawing and stay encouraged out there. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>